Today we got an exciting review. We're gonna do Fox versus Otter mountain biking pants. I know what you're thinking, what the hell are otters? I personally designed these mountain biking pants, try to make a clothing brand by mistake. It's very difficult. You probably came here for the Foxes, so let's check those out first. The Fox Flexar pants are about 150 bucks on Amazon. They look really stylish. They have lots of venting, very high quality plastic zippers. These look pretty solid. They have a very nice ratcheting strap. I personally love this style of mountain biking pants, but there's one key thing missing. I stupidly try to make a mountain biking clothing brand because I thought those foxes were too expensive. I designed these Otter Sports pants, spent like $10,000 on them designing them. I've got cheaper zippers, the same style buckle. I personally designed a zipper into these pants so they work good when you're picking up donuts on the way to the trail. We're gonna go test these on the trail, tell you what's better and what's worse. Since you came here for the Fox Flexars, I'm gonna start with these to hopefully satisfy your taste. I've got some screws in my ankle, or used to, so my ankle's pretty weak. I got this big nasty brace on it. And the Fox pants are really nice to put on because there's a stretch portion on the back, so I was able to get around my ankle brace very easily. We'll try the other leg. Hopefully not get too many pine needles in there. So very easy to put the Fox Flexar mountain bike pants on. I have the biggest iPhone you can buy, the Pro Max 11, 12, 13, 14. And the pocket is just big enough to get in. Pretty cool, we got some air holes in there that's not going to be waterproof but it's almost summer so the holes are going to be good i feel like they're pretty tight especially around my big butt but and these are size 36 so sizing on fox stuff is a little wonky even though their products are super high quality Jumped it. they're not so good for a karate but i think they're going to be pretty good on the trail so let's go Riding in the fox pants was great. Tight fitting ankles, no worries of chain snagging on the pants. The flex points on these pants were outstanding when I was on the bicycle. A few issues arose immediately, mostly when I was not on the bike. Walking in these fox pants is rather uncomfortable. The sizing is extremely small for size 36. I mean, my waist is 34 and I've already upsized to 36s to get my legs in the pants. As you can see, they're ridiculously tight. The Fox pants feature an extremely short ride. This is great for riding since it will not snag on anything like the seat. The downside of the short rides is it's really uncomfortable. The pockets on the Fox pants are rather small. My iPhone does fit in there, but I did struggle to get it in and out. Okay guys, if you wanna know why mountain biking clothes pants are super expensive, let me show you why. Oh! It's called stretch. So when you have to go in the forest and do your business, it's gonna stretch unlike jeans. And let me tell you, this material is not cheap. I found a few problems with these Fox Flexar pants. I'm gonna let you find the problem. So there's no zipper attaching this together. And what happens is when you tighten this, if your waist is smaller than the designated thing, you pull this ratcheting strap and throughout the day, this is what happens. It's not a super big deal because you're gonna be in a bib or something. It is something to note, it's kind of irritating. I spent a bunch of extra time designing a zipper into these, so the otters are gonna be not having that problem. I hope you enjoyed the fox portion of this video, but today we're gonna do the otter sports pants and we're gonna do an epic backcountry all day adventure. This is what you're gonna get in the otter sports pants. Very simple, all black material. We got some 
logos right here. There's two options. You get a logo up high. It's a little bit more hidden. I love these pants because I put the zipper in them. They work great when you're getting donuts or walking around, but they're also fantastic on your bike. Getting into the Otter Sports pants isn't quite as good as the Fox pants. It's a little bit more tight right there. I'm trying to be super real with this review. There's the Otter pants. We have that nice zipper, does not pop out. So I'm fully dressed in the Otter Sports mountain biking pants. These pants have a better fit for size 36. The waist goes from 34 to 36. My legs are about a 33 inseam. You can be the judge of the ankles if you're shorter or taller. Our zippers on these pants, they're metal zippers, so they're not quite as nice as the Fox ones, but I personally haven't had any issues with these zippers. So this is the closure system on the Otter Sports pants. You clip this right there, unzip. So your iPhone's gonna go, your iPhone 27 Pro Max is gonna fit in there very nicely. So one of the main concerns of wearing pants mountain biking is that part catching on the seat have never personally had that problem and they're real stretchy. So worst case scenario, if they did hook, they're gonna stretch over the top. The Fox pants have a super short inseam, which makes them uncomfortable, but that's gonna be less of an issue. You never know what you're gonna run into on a backcountry ride. I decided to go under the waterfall and take some pictures. My Otter Sports pants are water resistant, so I was able to stay dry for the rest of the day. It's about 75 degrees today, and I am perfectly on the temperature Granted, I am on an e-bike and not struggling uphill, but any type of pants, fox or otters, they're gonna offer you another level of protection. And the otter pants are gonna get you into pants at 50% of the price. And there's a lot of utility, like yard work or hiking on logs, filming for a video. <laughs> You're getting 100% of the flex of the fox pants. You can literally put any knee pad in these or you can run them without knee pads. The Otter Pants have larger pockets, so my extra big iPhone fits in there better. That means you can put more stuff in your pockets. They're also more true to size and more comfortable when you're hiking around or just doing normal riding. The Otter Pants are substantially more versatile. You can wear them around town. They're water resistant. They're super cheap and they have just as much flex as the Fox Pants. After another couple rides, I discovered how amazing the Fox pants are in hot weather. They have cooling vents so it gets inside of your crotch when it's windy. The super short rise on the Fox pants is uncomfortable. I end up walking like Donald Duck in these. That super short rise feels really good on the bike. I do not want to downplay that. They just don't have as much versatility as the Otter pants. Special thanks to my friend Ryan for filming this video for me. Here's his channel if you wanna see some scenic stuff and watch this video up here on the left. This is my first review ever of some Fox 3L water pants. Most of the time people want you to see their best videos, but I want you to have a good laugh. <laughs>